Welcome to Outdoor Adventures. Today we're going to talk about knives. Now there are a lot of different kinds on the market, so today we're just going to start out by talking about basic knife construction. So here we go, I'm going to draw my life. No, I'm just kidding, you won't have to sit through that. So we're going to start out with what's called a full tang. And this is the kind of knife that has the best stability and is going to be the strongest. So I'm just going to give it a trace and we're going to kind of dissect and see what's inside one of these. So just to make it a little bit clear, we got the blade here and on the handle we're going to have these two rivets. And this is what keeps on the wooden handle. So you can see kind of if I turn the knife around, you can see that there's this stripe down the middle of the handle. The blade and that part of the handle is all one big piece of steel. So there's a guard here and it uh, slips over everything else. But the rest of it is all one big piece. And this is going to give you a lot of stability and it's going to give you a lot of durability uh, when it comes to using your knife. So here's one that I made. This is back when I wasn't putting uh, wooden handles on my knives. Uh, I'm just going to take off the paracord wrap that I put on it and we can kind of take a look at the construction of a real one. So as you can see, the blade and the handle are all one big piece of steel. Everything's attached and it's really, really stable. So if we compare them to each other, you can see that the first knife has the wooden handle already on it, so it's completed. So the next one we're going to look at is what's called a partial tang knife. So I'm just going to grab my marker and trace this one as well. We can kind of take a look at what's inside. You have the basic shape here, finish off the, the end where someone it was, that's all right. I'll draw where the handle is. Now I'll kind of trace around where the piece of steel is that's inside the knife. So the blade kind of goes in a bit, and then there's this kind of tail that goes off the back. And this gives the knife a bit of the same stability as you would get with uh, a full tang knife. But what it does is it cuts down on the production cost. This entire area that I'm coloring would have been steel had it been a full tang knife, but making the production cheaper will actually make the knife a little bit cheaper. So you can usually find these for less money than a full tank knife. One of the drawbacks of this knife is that it can come loose and shake in the handle depending on what you're doing with it. Now the next one we're going to look at is a folding knife. Uh, these are really great because they can fold right away and they're a little bit safer to carry around. I actually usually have one of these in my pocket at all times. So if we trace it and add on the signature just awful tip, uh, we can kind of take a look at what's going on on the inside here. So this is where your blade is. And you can see that you're not holding on to any bit of it when you're holding on to the handle. And this uh, is one of the drawbacks to a folding knife. Is that, that pivot point there can be weakened over time depending on what you're doing with your knife. And since this blade is just that section, it can actually start to wiggle and you can break your knife if you're doing anything too strenuous with it. The benefit though is that you do have the ability to fold. So if we just do kind of a quick review, you can see we have our three types here. We have our full tang, uh, lots of stability, the price can be a little bit higher. You have a partial tang, um, same kind of stability, and you have your folding knife. I hope this video gave you some info so you can make an informed decision. Follow me on all these other things and I'll see you in the next one.